Welcome back. You can find our next guest tonight for G strapped up in a G ride. He's very respected in the rap game. In fact, one of the only independent LA artists that you'll find on major projects. You can catch his name next to artists such as YG, Dom Kennedy, DJ Mustard, TC4800, and many more. But most importantly, in front of his most recent mixtape, Heavy. Please welcome, all the way from Los Angeles, California, Reem Riches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chilling. Chilling? Yeah. How have you been? Working, man. Working, Working? hard. Working? Yeah. Working on a new album, man. I've been in the studio uh, in Burbank, California. Just Burbank? Going, yeah, going in, man. Trying to um, just keep putting new music out. Yeah. New music. Now, you have Reem. Honestly, oh. there, there are a lot of artists out there. I feel like you're, you're one of the... the the few hard-working ones, because you have many projects out. Yeah. Many. Correct. Amazing. And, and, <laughs> and they're, they're, it's decent music. Yeah. It, you're good. Appreciate now, it. Now, let's talk about your most recent mixtape, Heavy. Yeah. Now, I, I looked for it on SoundCloud, looked for it, for it on Apple Music, and it's very hard to find. Is there is there a specific reasoning for that? Uh, yeah, it is. Um, I hadn't dropped any music in a long time, so... I just kind of wanted to give, like some, uh, like a project to my fans. You feel me? So I just put it on that piff to where like my fans could just go get it from one site. I didn't want to have it like all over because I wanted to like warm up again because I hadn't dropped any music. So okay, I just put it on that piff so people could just go to the site and go get it and like build my core fan base. You feel me again? So right. Um, that's why I was like that. Now, what was the project you dropped before Heavy? Um. Damn, what did I drop before Heavy, man? I got so many mixtapes. Um, uh, I want to say it was Road to Rain Riches. Okay. Two, I think. I think so, yeah. Now, if I'm not <laughs> mistaken, yeah. Now, I was listening to Heavy. Uh -huh. Fantastic mixtape. Appreciate it. Now, <laughs> your skits that, 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 are, that uh -huh. are in the, the, the mixtape... I was I, I was listening to it and it, it made me want to it made me want to get on my push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my boy, uh, uh, comedian Stevie J. Okay, like, I grew up with him and stuff, so I let him just do the uh, skits for my <laughs> for my mixtape because he's doing his comedy stuff. Shout out Stevie J. Did did, did he come up with that on his own? Uh, yeah, he did. He's crazy, <laughs> man. He freestyled the whole thing. I, actually, he was mad at me because I wasn't in the studio when he had to do the skits. I don't <laughs> right, know right. why. And he was saying on the tape? Yeah, everything he was saying was pretty much true. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was all him. Yeah, and, all and him. Yeah. His creative mind. Yeah. Now, this is very interesting. You're actually on uh, YG's first uh, major project, right? My yeah. Crazy Life? Yeah. You, you were on the song uh, When I Was Gone. Yeah. Correct. Now, th there are a lot of verses on it. Uh -huh. Which verse was yours? Mine's was the, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> how did it even start off, man? Uh, dang. Uh, <laughs> it was, was so uh, long ago, just. Yeah, I can't even think of the first lines, but, uh, it's the one, uh, three baby daddies, I ain't trying to be four. Okay. You wouldn't stay down if you was nailed to the floor. That one. <laughs> yeah. Hard. <laughs> now, what, what was the writing process uh, for that verse? Um, it was quick. Um, same formula I go. I mean, I use when I go to the studio. I just hear it. Well, YG already had the record. Slim, Slim was actually on it first. Okay. Then TC got on it and C hit. And then um, I got on it. I wrote it, I wrote the verse probably like, Fairly fast, you feel me? Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, when you're in the studio, what's your writing process like? Do you have to hear a beat first? Do you have the lyrics ready? Uh, yeah, I got to hear a beat. You have I to like hear the it vibe. first. vibe, yeah. Like, I got to chill. I got a vibe. I, I, I invite people, you feel me? I got to smoke, you feel me? <laughs> I got to, like, I got to have a vibe going and then hear the beat and then I go in, you know? Now, now when, when Reem's smoking, is he, is, yeah. is, he, is he smoking Swishers? Or is he or is he smoking paper? No, nah, I'm smoking backwoods. Backwoods. <laughs> yeah, backwoods. <laughs> Shout out backwoods. I need a I need a uh, sponsor or something. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried the the Mac Dre woods? No, nah, I haven't tried them yet, but I've been seeing people smoke them though. Did, is that something you you might want to look into? Probably. I mean, I'm not too into the hype stuff, but <laughs> I probably fuck with it if somebody had one and gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you're, you're you're from LA. Uh huh. Uh, uh, were you born and raised there? Yeah. 
and you're still living there right now. Yeah, correct. Okay. Now, uh, when you first uh, started rapping, mm -hmm. it, your your name's Reem Richards, right? Yeah. But when you first started rapping, did you go by a different name? Uh, yeah, I went by uh, Kid Fresh. <laughs> Kid Fresh. Because I started rapping when I was a young ass kid, so I was just like, <laughs> that's the main thing I could think of at the time. You know, I was dressing and shit going to school, so I don't know why I had to get rid of that shit fast though. <laughs> But uh, my cousin actually gave me my name, Reem Richards, though. Shout okay. out uh, Choice. Choice? He, yeah, he's a rap, He's also a rapper. Too, right, right, Seattle. right. Yeah. Now, um, Reem Richards, what made you want to run with, other than the fact that it's a dope name, what made you want to run with it? Uh, Because it had my real name in it. and Reem? Yeah, and it matched kind of like what I was on, my persona, you feel me, like how I am. Right, right. So I just ran fly, it, yeah, type shit, yeah. Fly shoes, yeah, sweater, every time, everything, yeah, every time. You're actually coming out with your own shoe line, right? Yeah. You're working on a shoe line. Yeah, I'm working on a shoe line right now. Wow. Now yeah, what's I'm trying to, I'm trying to get with some designers and stuff right now. To okay. Help me make it, but that's my next like major move I want to get into. Shoes. Yeah. Now, um, do you have like the pricing set, or, or is this uh, all in the works nah, right it's now? All in the works. All it's in the all works. works. Yeah. Okay. Now, how many designers are you working with? Um, just a couple right now, some friends, you know, that's around me. Okay. And, um, not too many. Yeah, like one or two. Now, yeah. it just the shoe line, or are you going to have sweaters, I mean, shirts? I already have clothes. I have the clothing line, the Savage Records clothing line. Oh, so you already have, have a clothing yeah, line? Yeah, we have sweatsuits, T-shirts, um, hoodies, all that, the whole nine. Now, where, where can people find your apparel? Um, you can find it on my website, um... Reemriches.com. Reemriches.com. Yeah. Okay. Reemriches, everybody. Welcome to the ground. Thanks for watching. If you like that, stop pushing your mom's buttons and click the subscribe button. Your bottom wouldn't be as red. And if you happen to want to be a guest on the show, make sure you follow both myself and the show on social media. You can find me on Instagram at Bo Jackman and on Twitter at Jackman Bo. And you can find the show's page at Talk Night Live on both Instagram and Twitter. I'll post information on how to submit an inquiry form. So check us out and look out for that. There aren't many free things in this world, but subscribing is. So just do it.